Christian Broadcast Ministries presents CBM Worship. We invite you to worship with us as we praise and worship our Lord together through music, prayer, and God's Word. We bring you CBM Worship from the Sanctuary of the Wayside Temple, 3809 Maple Avenue in Castalia, Ohio. We pray you'll be blessed and encouraged as we worship our Lord together. Uh, man, we have got a nice treat for everybody. And uh, so don't miss out on that. We're going to serve everybody as you go out this morning. And we pray you'll enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of neat. I can't hardly wait. There's some goodies in there. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's open with prayer and give God thanks today for his goodness. Father, we're truly thankful that we can gather here this morning in your name. Thankful, Father, for the health and strength and, Lord, for the freedom to come. And I know it's difficult today, Lord. There's been a lot of snow and there's a lot of cleanup. And, Lord, I know it's not always easy for uh, families to move their little ones and some of us that are a little older to move around on, in these conditions. But I, I just pray your blessing upon each one that's come today. And we ask for your traveling mercies that we'll be safe as we move and travel today. Protect us and keep us, we pray. Now, Father, we have come this morning to worship you and to glorify your Son. And I pray that you would bless our children as they come in a few minutes and they share their program. I pray you'd bless them, help them, Lord, to just exalt you and to lift up the Lord Jesus. Now, Lord, speak to hearts. There's individuals here today, perhaps, that do not know Christ as their Savior. Lord, we must know the Savior. Father, we need him today. I pray you would send your spirit to deal with their hearts, teach them their need, draw them to the Savior. Save men and women and boys and girls in this place today to your glory, we pray it. We'll not fail to give you all the praise for what you do. Thank you again, Lord, for every blessing. Thank you, Father, for sending us a Savior at Christmas. It's in his name we ask and pray. Amen and amen. Let's stand together if you're able today. Our team's coming to help us with a couple of good songs. Let's lift our voices as we worship.
joy to the world. Our God has come, heaven and nature seen. A child is born to save us, to show us redeeming love. Peace, hope, and joy to the world. Our God has come. Peace, hope, and joy to the world. Our God has come, heaven and nature seen. A child is born to save us, to show us redeeming love. Peace, hope, and joy to the world. Our God has come. what that song was just teaching us. Can I hear a good amen? amen? Before you're seated with a good smile and a friendly handshake, welcome someone near you.
Enjoyed the show. Thank you again and good night. Another great performance, Mrs. Toon. I don't know how you do it every year. Yes, thank you so much for your time. The kids did a wonderful job. Thank you. I love what I do. What can we do to help clean up? Oh, the kids and I will take care of everything. I'll run them home a little later if it's okay. Okay. Bye, kids. See you later. Whew, another Christmas concert in the books. Children, that was another fabulous Christmas performance. You were all just marvelous. Everybody but me. I did notice you wise men were a little late with your entrance. What seemed to be the problem, Nick? I found my sandal on my robe, Mrs. Toon. Nick in a dress. Now that's a Christmas card photo if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Madison, you and an angelic angel. Thanks, Mrs. Toon. I love my costume. The wings were awesome. Mrs. Toon, how did Zach and I do as Mary and Joseph? Just fine, but I did wonder why you stood on opposite sides of the stage. I have a firm policy of personal displays of affection, Mrs. Toon. In other words, no hand-holding. I can deal with close, but definitely no physical contact. Oh, brother, we weren't supposed to hold hands, just stand by each other. But I am with you on the hand-holding. Last year, I held, had to hold Michael's hand in the finale. He had just eaten cheese coals, and I was a sheep. He got orange cheese stains all over my paws. Well, the performance was almost perfect. We just had a little bit little trouble with Foster. Why is everyone looking at me? You were crowding and wanted moving to the front. We were all shepherds, Foster. Yes, I guess you could say that. But of course, I was the shepherd. You I don't think so. obviously work for me. I don't think so. Remember, Foster, all shepherds are created equal. I should have been a wise man. That would fit my persona much, much better. Why, Foster, I think you made a wonderful shepherd. Remember, children. Jesus is the reason we have Christmas. This program is not about us. It was a gift to Jesus for the joy he brought to us on that wonderful night. I want to make sure the message was clear. Nothing would ever be the same after that night in Bethlehem.
Is that my phone? Hello? Yes? Oh my. Oh my. I'll be right there. Goodbye, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, whatever shall I do? That was my niece. My Aunt June fell and broke her hip, and they're on to the way to the hospital. I need to meet them there immediately. But who will tend to your children, and will put away the set, and get the church ready for Sunday services? We'll do it, Mrs. Toon. Sure thing, we can take down the decorations. Well, if you are sure, the church custodian, Mr. T, is in the building, and we'll be by shortly to help, so you'll not be alone. I'll make sure I connect with him on the way out of the church. Don't worry, Mrs. Toon, we'll have all this put away in no time. Sure thing, go see about your aunt. We got this under control. Okay, then, I'm off. Thank you, children. After I check in on Aunt June, I'll come back and give you all rides home. See, see you later, later Mrs. Mrs. Toon. Okay, everybody, let's get busy. Um, Joey and I will start taking down the Christmas tree. Z um, Zach, you, and Madison start putting away the <coughs> presents. Foster and Laura, you start putting away the Christmas bell. If we all work hard, we'll have all this put away in no time. I'm tired. I want to go home. Foster, come on. Mrs. Toon has been great. This is the least we can do for her. We owe it to her and the church. Makes me wonder why we do this Christmas musical every year. It's tons of work, and now we even have to clean up by ourselves. I think it'd be wonderful if we could just skip the whole manger thing idea and get down to business. Presents. I want to get home and open my super deluxe Mighty Machine Man. What a terrible thing to say. Sometimes, Foster, you can be so annoying. Come on, just get busy. Get your mind off those presents and on to work. I can't help it. I just can't wait. When you think of Christmas, you may think of red and green, shining lights and garland hanging on the 
Christmas tree? You may think recent ribbons are all someone would need. But I can tell you here and now that's not enough for me. Lots of presents Sitting under the Christmas tree I want boxes Lots of boxes And Santa say they're all for me I have lots of toys And video games And the latest action figures I want an MP3 With lots of songs And an awesome bike that's bigger I want presents Lots of presents I'm up and running down the stairs My feet, they might be flying I turn the corner down the hall I'm heading There they are, they're all for me A million, a trillion presents I want presents, lots of presents Sitting under the Christmas tree I want boxes, lots of boxes Foster. Yes, you're definitely getting on my last nerve. Me too. And if we don't get busy, we'll be here all night. Excuse me, can I help you? Great, Foster. Now we're in trouble. Excuse me, sir. We're sorry for all the noise. No problem, kids. I'm here to help. Are you Mr. T? Mrs. Toon said you'd be coming by. Well, my friends call me Terrence. Glad to meet you, Terrence. I suppose you heard Mrs. Toon has gone to the hospital. Her Aunt June fell and broke her hip. Yes, she's fallen and she can't get up. Cut it out, Foster. Yes, I heard about that. June is such a sweet lady. She will be a great addition upstairs one day. We just started putting things away. We just have a lot of trouble with Foster. Foster? That's me. So I understand that you are wishing that we skip this whole Christmas story idea. Yes. How did you know that? How My boss. He... How could he help but hear? My boss hears and knows everything, and he keeps me informed. Must be one of those new surveillance systems they're putting it everywhere. I guess this manger stuff is all okay, but I'm really ready for the presents. And here I am, stuck putting away decorations. Foster, you need to stop talking. You're not making any sense. There's no Christmas without Jesus. Don't you remember what Mrs. Toon said? My mind's just on the presents. I can't help it my mind's on the finer things of life. You can't mean what you're saying. Christmas would be terrible without Jesus. Just think. <laughs> Silent night, no holy night, no all is calm, all is bright, no stable there in Bethlehem, no sheep or cattle inside, no shepherds in a field nearby, no angels singing on high, no manger filled with straw and hay. Savior born on that night. You can't take Jesus out of Christmas. Out of Christmas. He's there for all eternity. For all eternity. 
Christmas morn, no news is born, and in the world there's no peace. Can't take Jesus out of Christmas, out of Christmas. He's there for all eternity, for all eternity. You can't take Jesus out of Christmas, out of Christmas. Don't take him away. You must let him stay. Cause Jesus needs Christmas to me. Okay, enough with the Christmas carols. Let's get this over with. I hear my mighty machine man calling. Let's forget about all this major Bethlehem stuff and get down to business. Presents. Okay, that's a great idea. Yes, I think that will work. Okay, Foster, if that's really what you want, my boss can make that happen. Really? What are you talking about? Just close your eyes, everyone, and you'll see what I mean. What's going on? Yes, what's happening? Well, I thought I would give Foster what he really wanted. There is no Christmas. What are you talking about? You can't do that. No, I can't, but my boss can. There is no Christmas. No Christmas tree lights, no bells ring, no presents sitting under the tree, no Bethlehem, no manger scene, no Christmas. Wait a minute. Where is the manger scene? Gone. So I guess we have no Christmas decorations to put away. So I can head for home. Presents. Here I come. Oh, sorry, Foster. There are no presents waiting for you at home. Remember, there is no Christmas. Terrence, you have to help us. Please, change things back. Somebody pinch me. I want to wake up. I'll pinch you. Hey, did you see that? Uh, there's something strange about the Christmas tree. You're right. It has no lights. No, it's moving. The Christmas tree is moving. Hey, what's up, dude? What's the deal? What happened to my lights? Hey, Jingle, I'm in the dark. Who cares about these silly little lights? I can't read. I'm decoppered. I'm Jingles, I tell you. Jingles. Oh, no. Oh, no. The worst thing has happened that can happen to any present. 
I'm empty. Someone has taken my gift. Look. Who did this terrible thing? Who canceled Christmas? We need help immediately. We want Christmas. Come. No lights, not one twinkle anywhere. And oh, how I miss the ornaments and garland. What can we do to help you? Can we get you an aspirin? It's a Christmas tree with no lights, Madison. It doesn't have a headache. How sad, a Christmas tree with no lights. Who ever heard of Christmas in the dark? It looks kind of sad. And it looks kind of wilted. Has anybody watered you lately? I don't need water, I need light. Lots and lots of light. That's what Christmas is all about. Don't you remember my wise men line in the Christmas play? And Jesus said, I be the light of the world, and whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, and had the light of life. And we wise men follow the light to the star of Jesus. Yeah, I need that light. I've got to have it. Yes, Christmas tree, you remind us what life is like without Jesus. No life, no light, only darkness. Everyone knows that Christmas trees are supposed to have light. Lots of light to shine for Jesus. No lights out for me. I want to shine. 
shine for Jesus. People also need to have a light. Then they too can shine for Jesus. Yes, without Jesus, we have no light, only darkness. It's no use, I've lost my ring. What can make a bell lose its ring? No ring a -ling? No tingling. What good is a bell that won't ring? This is serious, Foster. Look what you have done. Don't blame me. Uh, blame him. Yes, the ring has left us. No one is ringing out the good news of Jesus. The angels were the first to have the good news. Remember, but the angels said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy that will be to all people. Today in the time of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a company of heavenly hosts appeared with angels singing and praising to glory to God and on earth peace to men and whom his favor rests. Luke ten, Luke two ten fourteen. Newsflash: We need help. We need to help the bell find a dream. How sad! Without Jesus, I'm timeless. This is what life is like without Jesus. 
No joy or good news. Only sadness. Believe me, I love turning my chimes at Christmas time, telling the world about the good joy of Jesus. There's nothing like it. Again, Foster, without Jesus, we have no ring, no chime, no joy or good news, only silence. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry, everyone. Terrence, change things back the way they were, or at least wake me up. I went Christmas, too. I know I was wrong. I was just wanting my presents. Look, snap your fingers or click your heels or do whatever you need to fix things. Really, I'm sorry. December 25th would be awful without Christmas. I was just focused on presents and not on Jesus. Okay, Foster, but really, you are right to want at least one present. Really? What? That super deluxe Mighty Machine Man doesn't sound very super anymore. You need to have the gift that fits inside your heart. This gift cannot be bought. In fact, it's free. I remember my grandma last summer telling me about that gift. She made me memorize Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not through work that no one can boast. Is this the gift you were talking about? Yes, and Jesus is the present, and he gives us a present right back, his hope and his love. Jesus makes life wonderful. I'm missing my gift inside. You're missing your gift inside too, Foster. It's Jesus. Some 
Hey, where's Terrence? Where'd he go? Excuse me, kids. <clears throat> My name's Mr. Tucker. Mrs. Toon mentioned that you all were cleaning up, and I'm here to lend a hand. Mr. T? We thought Terrence was Mr. T. Where is Terrence? He's gone. What's happening? Look, the lights are back on the Christmas tree, and the bells are jingling again, and the present is wrapped and back in place, and the manger scene is back. Yeah, sounds like a present inside. Mr. T, you'll never believe what happened. The Christmas tree, the jingle bell, and the present were alive. It was unbelievable. The tree had no light, the jingle bell couldn't ring, and the present was empty. That sounds amazing. But everything must be okay now because you all seem so happy. I am. I am so happy. I have forgotten the true meaning of Christmas. You do know that Jesus is the reason. For, for the season. season. Come on, everybody. Let's get these decorations put away. I want to get home. Still want to play with that super deluxe Mighty Machine Man poster? Sure, but before that, I want to read the Christmas story with my family. Toys are great, but I want to learn more about Jesus because Jesus makes Christmas wonderful. And with Jesus, I know I will have a wonderful life. Isaiah 9, 6 says, For unto us a child is given, and to us a son For to us, child is born, for to us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he shall be called Wonderful Counselor and Almighty God, and Prince of Peace. Jesus is the reason for the season. Bring his light into your life. Let his good news ring out to all you know. And with Jesus, you will truly have a wonderful life. It has been a blessing for us to worship together at this time, and we invite you to come worship with us. CBM is located 3809 Maple Avenue in Castalia, easily accessible from State Route 2. Take Route 2 to State Route 101 South and turn left onto Maple Avenue. We would love to have you visit. 
And don't forget, it's your prayers and gifts of love that bring this program into your home each week. Send your gifts of support, prayer requests, and comments to CBM, Box 247, Castalia, Ohio, 44824. CBM Worship is a production and presentation of Christian Broadcasting Ministries. CBM, proclaiming the Word.